Hello friends! If you have Husky 449 or 511 motorcycle or maybe BMW 3450X or you're thinking about buying either of those bikes, you should know about oil in airbox problem and solutions to it. Brief history of our motorcycles. Back in 2011, Husqvarna were owned by BMW, so Husky engineers had access to all the BMW assets. They took the engine from quite successful motorcycle BMW 3450X and used it to create 449 and 511 versions. BMW 3450X users already had problem with oil in airbox, but it was actually never addressed by BMW on manufacturer's level. Neither was it addressed by Husqvarna engineers, so we got problem migrating from one bike to another. The problem itself, oil from the engine gets inside the air box and then on top of the engine and all around. My bike's electric cables were soaking wet in oil when I got it. Factory isolation was damaged, uh, oil destroyed all the glue and the mess was disgusting. The reason it is happening, with the normal engine work, the air and the fuel pumps in the ignition chamber were in, when it burns and the produced exhaust gases should exit the ignition chamber from the exhaust valves into the exhaust system and into an atmosphere. But none of the engines are perfect and with some wear on the piston and the ring some of the gases get inside the engine. So they need another way to get out. Every engine has a valve where those gases can escape the engine under their own pressure. Unfortunately for our bikes, that valve was placed very close to the bottom of the engine. When engine oil gets hot, it becomes oily foam, which was going up the hose with the gases into an air box, where it would condensate back into an oil, spilling all around, completing unfortunate chain of events. Solutions. There were a few, and this is probably the order in which they were introduced. I must say that a quite obvious solution that was proposed and probably used by some BMW G450X users or maybe even Husqvarna owners was adding some kind of blockage system into the existing hose. Adding some kind of mesh material into the hose, preventing oil from getting up into an airbox, was proposed, probably was used, but was never a common solution. That solution, but really more of a fix, was introduced by BMW themselves. Long time ago they sent a bulletin to all the dealers instructing them to put less oil in the engine than manual actually required. People on forum reported that putting in 0.9 liter rather than 1.15 that was required by the manual actually helps. The results varied from somewhat reduced amounts to no spillage at all, but in my opinion it was never a good idea, because putting less oil in the engine is not a good idea. I was talking to David Bates here, the great guy from Australia from Husqvarna Facebook page and somewhat an expert on our motorcycles and quoting him here. Many people have suffered crankshaft failures during the lifetime of their motorcycle and in my opinion some of them are actually the result of this option. In the BMW 449 511 engine design, the big end bearing is the last thing to get oil from the pump. So if there are any disruption in an oil circuit, it's the big end bearing that will suffer. Second solution, zip tie kit. An American company introduced something they called Husqvarna Full Oil Recirculation Kit. It costs $325, still available on their website today and comes with downloadable installation manual. It consists of the tank that goes to the side of the engine, breather cup that goes to the top of the engine, it adds a couple of hoses for the smoother oil flow, and it routes crankcase gases hose to go not from the bottom of an engine to an airbox, but rather from the tank on the side to an airbox. Solves the problem completely. The downside is that in order to use this solution, you have to drill a hole with the specific dimensions and in specific place in your valve case. And since things tend to go wrong, if you screw up, you're in for another case for about $90 plus delivery and shipping time. Third solution, DMD breather mode, which is, I believe, is the most commonly used solution nowadays to solve this particular problem on our bikes. And as you can see, I've got it installed right here. This solution became possible thanks to the David base. In this first iteration, David just removed the plug in an existing hole on the top side of our engine, added some thread. Installed the fitting, probably borrowed from his kitchen sink, 
and rerouted the crankcase gases hose to go not from the bottom of the engine, but through this breeder into an airbox. The solution was cheap, efficient and solved the problem completely, but it looked like it was invented in some kind of garage that are most commonly used tools of duct tape. Sorry mate, I had to say that. Nonetheless, it was a step in the right direction and sometime later the DMD breeder in its current iteration was introduced. Same principle, more elegant design. The downside to this method is now you have to cut a small piece of your rubber seal in order to make, get it installed. And since things still tend to go wrong, if you screw up here, you're in for about 50 euros plus delivery and shipping time. DMD breeder goes for 135 Australian dollars, which is converted to American dollars today is about 90. Conclusions! As a temporary solution for your motorcycle, you can probably use the fix introduced by BMW and put less oil in the engine than it actually required by our manuals. But I do not recommend to use this solution for long, and also if you tend to use it, make sure that you change your oil a little bit more frequently, because less oil means it goes bad faster. But getting zip tie kit on DM Deep Breather is probably the best investment you can make for your motorcycle and your riding experience. I would say it is must-have mod for our bikes and number one mod I would and did for my bike. If you're interested in buying a zip tie kit, I will have a link in the description to the website of zip tie racing. And if you're interested in DMD breather, you will have to contact David Bates, who can be easily found through Husqvarna Facebook page, link to which I will also leave below. Also, since this channel is not getting paid any advertisement soon, or probably ever. I would recommend for free that you should also check David's channel. Installation process of the DMD breather also can be found there. That sums up the short story of oil in airbox problem on our motorcycles and solutions to it. Thank you for watching. Bye!